<laughs> I would say this, though. You know, th there are a lot of issues that I think are kind of silly that we fight over, and I think marijuana is one of those the issues. The top one. Just, yeah, just I, legalize I it. Get out of people's business. Let them smoke it. You know, my dad was a police officer, recently retired, and he said, I've never had a problem with somebody high on pot. Never. Well, what aggravates me is that we have all of these, and, and look, I think there's a time and a place to form a, a, a group and go after and try to legalize pot. Can we do it after we, we repeal Obamacare? Can we do it after we abolish the IRS? Can we do it after we accomplish we, all of these things which are infinity jobs? times more important? Thank you. Can we get people jobs? You got this newscaster Not the other day. High. You got this newscaster <laughs> the other day that was on her, on her job, and she said, I quit. Like yeah, she literally threw her stuff up and was like, I quit. And she goes and work for marijuana. Now you don't have a job. She wouldn't, wait, did she work for the marriage of one? Is that what she Marijuana is the boss. Man, you just blew my mind, man. <laughs> okay. No, I, I agree with you. I, I, I feel like when it comes to the question of marijuana, come on. Like, I, I would rather live in a country that regulated marijuana and had a better tax code. Right. Personally. Mm -hmm. If I had to choose, Jesus. Yeah. I, I would, you know, mm -hmm. now I'm not saying you have to. We can live in a country that doesn't regulate marijuana and has a great tax code. Yeah. But Why does it in terms have to of priorities, more? you know, let's let's prove that the government can do anything right. functionally. Right. Let's talk about let's energy say, policy. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I, every now and then I'll have like a, you know, a cigar, but I don't smoke pot. I don't, that's not my bag, but I don't care. <laughs> but I, do think, I just I do think don't there, care. I do think there's a serious problem and one that is worth addressing about the uh, overcriminalization and and uh, with I think that's a huge problem. That's a big problem. I read an article where there was a guy who got more time for having pot on him than a child predator in the same state. Yeah, I yeah, think it was right. in California. Yeah, that's, crazy. that's insane. But that's that an overall insane. justice system issue. Thank you. Like it's not specific to right. marijuana. Right. There's plenty of uh, there's plenty. Of, you we need get, a lot of reforms. Well, well I thought what Texas did. What Texas did with right on crime was. Yeah. Yes. A fabulous yeah. approach with it mm -hmm. because everyone thinks oh, Texas is so tough they just kill anybody for like blinking wrong. We well, do. Not yeah, I mean, well, I mean, true. true. <laughs> okay, if you deserve it, yeah, you die. You kill us and we'll kill you back. That's right. Um, but I say this as having been here for almost a year. It's in my blood now. But I, but right on crime. Texas is right on crime great program. program. That was great because it was all about reforming. That's it. That's the it. And, and, and one thing I like about it is that one thing in the minority communities with the justice system, right. there's been this in battle for a long time where they feel like they're against black people, uh, Hispanics, and now we're actually seeing people uh, right. brought to conservatives because they say, you know what, they might fight for me.